Hello and welcome in this new guide brought to you by HedgeDesignTutorials.com. Today we'll discover together how to stylize YouTube videos using the YouTube and Motion Graphics presets pack by Digital Products 669. With 120 animated motion graphics templates specially made for YouTubers, this pack comes in handy for everyone to make it easier and faster to stylize any YouTube video. The YouTuber pack contains six different animated motion graphics categories end screens, info bars, logo reveals, lower thirds, titles, and transitions. Let me show you an example that I've made using the YouTuber motion graphics pack. First, let's see how to install the YouTuber pack in Premiere Pro. Once you get the YouTuber pack downloaded, open up the main package folder and find the two main Mogart folders. Select both folders, then right click and select copy or cut. Then go to the default Premiere Pro Motion Graphics Templates folder. You can find the complete path to the folder location in the description below the video. Right click inside the folder and choose Paste. Go back to Premiere Pro. Then click the little icon near to Essential Graphics and select Manage Additional Folders. Click on Add. Then select the Mogart 2019 folder, then click on Select Folder. Click on Add again, and select the second folder, then click on Select Folder again. Click OK to add the new folders. Once you've done this, click the drop-down menu in front of Local, and you'll find your added folders in the list. First, let me right-click one of my imported videos and select New Sequence from Clip. To stylize a YouTube video, the first thing you want to do is add in an intro that shows your logo or brand name in the first few frames of your video. And to do so, we can use a logo reveal template from the YouTuber pack. So let's drag and drop one of the pre-animated logo reveals templates inside the timeline. Before we do anything, first we should adapt the template resolution to the sequence resolution. So, right-click the template and select Set to Frame Size. From the Essential Graphics panel, in the Edit tab you will find out that all the Logo Reveals templates comes with six different logos to choose from. Also, if you would like to change the background behind the logo, then you can easily turn off the default background. You can also change the text under the logo and put the name of your brand and your website address. If you have your own YouTube channel logo, then you can easily replace the default logo by your own brand logo in Adobe After Effects. Let me show you how to do this in After Effects. 
In After Effects 2019, go to File Menu and select Import Project. Select the Logo Reveal template that you want to modify, then click on Open. In the window that follows, select a folder for After Effects to extract the project files, then click on Extract. If you got a missing fonts warning message, just click on OK to skip. By default, you'll find a pre-composed layer with the name place logo here. Double-click that pre-composed layer, then go ahead and bring your logo inside the composition. Hide the default template logos and let's tweak the scale and position the logo in the center of the composition. Switch back to the main template composition and click the controls layer to select it. From the effect controls panel, you can still edit the scale and change in the color of your logo. As well, you can do this later in Adobe Premiere Pro. Now let's switch to the Essential Graphics panel in After Effects. And then click the Export Motion Graphics Template button to export the template with your logo. the Export as Motion Graphics Template window, click on Browse, then select a folder for your export, and give your modified template a different name, then click on Save. If you got this verifying Adobe Fonts window, just click on Cancel. After exporting the template, create a new folder, Then put the template inside the folder, then copy the folder, and place it inside the default Premiere Pro Motion Graphics folder. Now go back to Premiere Pro and go to Manage Additional Folders to add your modified template folder in your Essential Graphics list. Now you'll find your edited template folder in your local templates list. So let's drag the modified template in our timeline. Great! Now let's go ahead and continue stylizing our YouTube video. Let's add a transition template from the YouTuber pack. Like any other motion graphics template, you can customize this transition from the Edit tab the way you want it to be. Now let's add a title for our YouTube video and then customize the colors and the scale of that title as shown. You 
you can also use an info bar from the YouTuber pack to add a brief description about the video or to transmit any desired information to your YouTube viewers. Also, you can use a lower third template to encourage your YouTube viewers to like your video and subscribe to your channel. The last tip in stylizing a YouTube video is adding an end screen template from the YouTuber pack. So you can fully customize the end screens of your YouTube videos using the YouTuber pack templates. From the Essential Graphics Edit tab, you can choose what social media icons to show in the end screen, as well adding your own social media addresses. As well, you can predefine the titles of your end screen videos. Also, you can add your channel logo to the end screen using After Effects. So that was a quick example of how to use the YouTuber pack to save a big amount of time in creating all these animated templates for your YouTube video. Before you go, please download the free YouTuber pack demo from the link in the description to get a preview of all the templates in the pack. I hope you enjoyed this quick guide and preview. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe.